Now, as the mother of four boys, how has your experience, your political experience, um, and it, the challenges you've faced as a woman impacted you as a mother? What have you learned from that that you brought back to your family life? In terms of raising sons who are more respective of, of women? I think my experience has enriched them. Um, what, what I've brought to professional thing just says to them that uh, I think they'll treat their own children differently. I think they'll have much more equity and equality in their own home life because it is normal in our setting in Africa that the men are perceived to be the breadwinner, the family head. Therefore, they are the ones that should be prepared to take on these responsibilities. I think my experience will influence and change how my children mm -hmm. and, and those with whom they deal with, how they look at that particular aspect of life. So if they have they have boys and girls. So I, I think we'll So do you see that with your kids and your grandchildren? Oh yes, no doubt. Yeah. Absolutely. And one of the things that some women feel hold them back, and it's this is actually statistically very interesting, that women normally get involved in politics much later than men because they have their, they have their children, they raise their children, and then they get involved. And so a man might start as a state legislator in our country at the age of 20, whereas a woman doesn't start <coughs> until she's 40. So after 20 years of experience, there are two different points. That keeps many women out of the political process. So what would you say to those women? Because they're afraid that you cannot have a family and, you know, a rich family life and a political life at the same time. And you yourself have said, you just said that it was, you know, that was part of the reason that led to tensions in your marriage. It's your... Yeah, I, I just think because our own systems and policies are different, I think there's a lot to be learned from the Scandinavian countries in this regard. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, uh, people in countries like, like Norway and others are able, women are able to pursue professional life and still remain uh, uh, Why? What do they do different than than they we? Have, they have they have laws that protect them. Uh -huh. They have policies and laws uh, Hello? that uh, that require this I kind of uh, quality. Uh, the sharing sharing of responsibility in the home yeah. is that's the big issue. Yeah, isn't yeah it? that's the big issue. But that's yeah. done in in those countries. It's yeah. done. That's a, a legal issue and a cultural yeah, issue. Yeah, it? It both. Yeah. I mean, you can have paternity leave in those countries where the father can stay and take care of the baby. Yeah. If the mother is at a higher professional life, she goes to work and yeah. he stays yeah. home and he gets the leave. Yeah. Take care of it. It's a whole new system.